It is almost tax time. Mike Boynton from the Better Business Bureau has some advice about tax scams, something we all need to hear about. Mike, what do you need us to know about this? Well, there, there are several things, but you know, th this is uh, the tax scams. We get reports of this throughout the year, but especially the next several months will probably hit the height of it, but it, it's been going on for several years. Uh, and again, um, as a scam with the IRS, when you use that name, it puts fear into the hearts of many, uh, if you're on the receiving end of that phone call or that email, typically it's a phone call, but uh, you don't need to panic. And for people who don't know any better, what do they need to know about what the real IRS would or would not do? You know, uh, like uh, any federal or state agency, they're not gonna send you an email typically or make a phone call if there's an issue. Uh, you will get that through the US Postal Service. So if you get that uh, phone call or email, specifically a lot of scams are phone call related because they're trying to put pressure on you. So you get a phone call from somebody who's claiming to be IRS, that's a red flag. Should you hang up? They don't, they don't make it. You can certainly hang up, and that's the first thing that we do. Um, we've had reports of uh, some of these phone calls coming in where um, uh, they appear to be on the end listening to the phone, um, uh, different uh, dialects, different uh, um, th these are perhaps people out of the country that, uh, but making a phone call, uh, receiving one, that's not how the IRS communicates uh, with the U.S. public. Now, do you see this start to pick up in the new year? I know you say you see these all year long. We do, and I think typically when people are preparing their taxes, and um, uh, so we will see the crunch of that for a several month period, easily through April and May. Uh, but that's when it really picks up. But we've had reports throughout the entire year, especially uh, a report of a, um, a past due IRS bill, uh, amount that's gone uncollected. And so what they do with a phone call is they try to intimidate and scare you into uh, panicking and immediately reacting. To resolve it, they're demanding payment, uh, either sending a um, Western Union uh, 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 wiring money or taking a credit card over the phone. They want immediate uh, action by you, scaring you into that action to, to get rid of this um, debt that's been owed or either turning you over to local law enforcement. So some pretty serious threats that could scare somebody if you didn't know any yeah, better. Yeah, and, and that's why we, we try to warn the public about, uh, again, uh, question. If it doesn't sound right, it probably isn't right, but know that federal agencies and state agencies they're going to communicate with the, uh, via mail, and they're not going to ask uh, and demand payment to resolve a problem. They'll work with you. If there's an issue, they'll work with you. You can communicate with the agency, and they'll work out a uh, payment plan if that is indeed owed. But most of the time, it's strictly a scam trying to get you to panic and, and pay. Final tips here for people when it comes to tax season. What do you want to leave everybody with? Well, you know, it's um, certainly... Um, file your taxes, uh, get, get everything in order, uh, make sure you're not delayed. Uh, we have gotten other reports that um, uh, people have filed erroneous, erroneously. They've gotten your um, uh, Social Security number. They file uh, bogus taxes on your behalf to secure refunds. So be aware of that, just another element. But again, if you're contacted, uh, don't panic, don't pay and report it to the BBB. All right, Mike, got to leave it there. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful advice. And thank you for joining us at home. I hope you learned a thing or two today. If you have a topic that you would like to see us cover, let us know about it. Email us at publicaffairs at cbs46.com. And be sure to like Public Affairs on Peach on Facebook. That's where we post our upcoming episodes and ask for your feedback. I'm Megan Packer. Have a great rest of your weekend. Mike, thank you again. Thank you.